Hello, thank you for visiting our website, Kirio Soder Scientific. We have amazing products to show you, and I hope you take a little time to look at the video we have presented for you. Thank you. Hello, today I'm going to show you this binocular compound microscope. This is a model M82 ELCD, and this features a high re resolution LCD monitor. Now, this microscope, it has a simple design yet it has advanced features. A good thing about this microscope as well is it's high quality manufacturing. It's actually going to give you a lot of stability on the research table. This is a very extremely stable microscope. First thing we see here is ergonomically designed binoculars. Okay, As you can see it adjusts all the way up to 75 millimeters from 48 millimeters and it swivels up and down so you can get actually focus to how far apart your eyes are. Also it's uh, inclined at 30 degrees okay and the head actually swivels 360 degrees. It's going to swivel all the way around if need be. Good feature about that is if there's anybody next to you either in the lab or in the classroom you can easily allow them to view the specimen by using the swiveling feature. I love that feature about this microscope. Next, what we have see what we have here are the objective lenses actually. And they start at 4x, 10x, 40x, all the way up to 100 x Okay? As you can see, they smoothly transition from objective to objective. And when they lock into place, they're very steadfast. So you're not going to get the problems you see with less quality microscopes where it'll be in between or they'll start switching from one objective to the other slightly. What we see here on the stage is 140 millimeters by 140 millimeters. Now the stage goes up and down and side to side so you can better view the specimen depending on what you're looking for. A great feature about the stage is actually the stage clip on most stages they'll snap back and hit the specimen but this one as you can see when you release it slowly goes back and holds the specimen in place and it's, the specimen won't, won't move after it's in place as I, you can see again this is a great feature because it actually will allow some of the specimens from being broken and it also will, will prevent injury because sometimes when it snaps back the glass can break and it flies everywhere and it's a mess now the iris on this is adjustable so the diaphragm actually goes smaller to larger so the specimen will have different uh, volumes of light affecting it depending on how much light you need this is a great feature and an advanced feature that makes this microscope different from regular microscopes also the condenser will adjust and go up and down that's a great feature not all microscopes have this feature now this is a coarse adjustment. This will allow you to move the specimen up and down in large intervals or the fine adjustment which allows you to move the specimen up to 0 0.002 millimeters. Those are the intervals. And this locks into place. So when you have what you want you can lock it in and it's not going to move. Now as we saw earlier the light is actually uh, adjustable and it's a halogen bulb so you can adjust the brightness to fit whatever you're looking for. Okay. Now, the probably the best feature of this microscope is the high resolution LCD monitor as you can see here. This monitor is great because if you're viewing a specimen not only can you look at it through the binoculars but the screen will also give you the ability to view it and it has digital zoom so you no longer have to adjust the fine or coarse adjustment you can digitally zoom in and view the specimen this is amazing as well if there's somebody next to you wanting to actually see what you're seeing at the same time uh, additionally this has the capability of being connected to your laptop or a regular computer using the USB cable this will allow it like I said to view it on the on the computer also the included software will allow you to snap pictures of the specimen edit the pictures, email it to someone, so I mean the capabilities are are amazing on this. 
Also, you're, you're able to view this on the television screen. Also, it will allow you to view it on a projector if you're in a classroom. And this is an amazing feature that this microscope has. And we can explore these features a little bit further in this uh, next segment. Thank you. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to connect the LCD monitor capabilities on the microscope to the computer using this USB that comes with the microscope and using the software as well that comes with it. This might look simple, but I'll walk you through it so you know exactly what to do. Okay. Hello. Now we'll demonstrate how you connect the microscope to your laptop or computer. And this might look simple, but uh, I'll walk you through it anyways. This is a USB cable that comes with the microscope. What you want to do, you want to connect it back here where it says USB and connect it also to your computer. Okay. Also, you have a power outlet over here. You want to also connect that to the back of the microscope so you can have power running to the screen. Now, last but not least, we have a flash drive. Now, this is very important. You must connect this flash drive to your computer if you want to have any functionality with the software. So what you want to do, you want to go ahead and get that, connect it, and we're ready to begin. Okay, now we're going to go to the computer and see how we can transfer the images from the LCD monitor over to the computer. It's simply done. Uh, First we go here to video and what you're seeing here is actually a live image and I'll actually uh, show you that it's a live image. You can see it move as I'm adjusting the microscope here on this side of the, uh, of the adjustment. Also if you want to go ahead and view it on the LCD screen All you have to do is connect the uh, the USB over here to the EXT and now the image is actually on the LCD screen and it's also a live image as you can see the image is moving. This is a great technology and a great learning tool that can be used either in the classroom or in the laboratory.